Well, hello everybody and welcome to Today Isle. I'm Calixian, and today I'll be making pickled jalapenos. So if you like spicy things and you like pickles, this is perfect for you. You can use these with nachos, just as a little side pickle. They're delicious. They're not too spicy. They're, they're excellent. We uh, lucked out and found a big box of these things for sale at the local grocery store, so get to work. Start shopping. Basically, you want to slice these into about quarter inch rounds and you know whatever size works for you but uh, you don't want them too thick you don't want them too thin so find the right ratio for you and then once you've got them sliced up you want to rinse them out rinsing them gets rid of the excess seeds the seeds that are loose if you like it a little bit spicier maybe you can skip this step um, rinsing it does remove some of the heat and of course the seeds contain a lot of the capsaicin so you rinse those seeds away and you lose a little bit of the heat but that's okay for my purposes here just like with any uh, jam or canning process you need to sterilize your jars so go ahead and put those in the canner and boil them for about 10 minutes just to make sure that they're nice and clean and sterilized these were brand new jars so I'm not too worried but I just want to sterilize them anyway so we need to make a vinegar mixture this will be two parts water and two parts vinegar so we're gonna do two cups of water and two cups of vinegar. I needed a little bit more, so I added another half cup of water and a half cup of vinegar, and that worked out just fine. And then about two tablespoons of sugar. I don't measure a lot, so I estimate, and I estimated this was about two tablespoons of sugar. Works for me. Next up, you need to fill the jars with the sliced jalapenos. Stuff them really well, tight, tightly packed, you know. Um, I happened to guess that I'd need eight jars and it was a perfect fit, so you kind of may have to play with that. Always do a, a few extra jars than you might need, just to be sure you have enough. Packing the jars can be the hardest part because once you get to the end, you have to spoon them out one piece by one piece once there's not very many left in the colander. It's a bit annoying. Keep an eye on your vinegar mixture. Uh, that is not supposed to boil, just come to a simmer. So don't turn it too high. Make sure it's nice and hot, but not, uh, not you know, a rolling boil. Now you want to fill each jar with the uh, with about a tablespoon of coarse salt. So put that into each jar. I feel like the audio and the video is going to be out of sync in this video again. I don't understand why that keeps happening, but bear with me. I made sure to subtitle each section. Then you want to add a clove of bruised garlic to each jar as well. I uh, just kind of crush it up a little bit in my fingers just to help release some of the flavor. So now you take your hot vinegar mixture and add some to each jar. You want to leave about a, a half an inch of headspace in each one so that it'll seal properly. <clears throat> Now 
Now once you've got these filled, you have to put them back in the canner with their lids, of course, for about 10 minutes to process. If you live in the mountains, it could be more. Um, altitude does affect canning, so if that's the case, you probably already know about it. And we wait. Don't mind the chicken. I uh, was preparing supper while I made these pickles, so just basting the chicken here. I mean, the point of the video is to make you hungry, so... All right, so now transfer the uh, now processed jars onto a cloth and you will wait for the, of course, if you do canning of any kind, you know you're waiting for the pop. Once the lids pop down, you know they're sealed and they should store for about six months. Uh, any that don't pop, you wanna stick in the fridge and consume them Im immediately, right away. I waited a day and we've been eating them all week. They're amazing. I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, and good luck with your canning. <laughs>